Hello. So, <clears throat> this is where we stand, and some of you may have noticed a silly bug, and this is it. This bug here, these bricks are all the same type. And in the last episode, I actually, in the last, episode, last time I recorded this episode, I spent 10 minutes trying to debug that bug. So I'm going to go ahead and debug it real fast, right now. Or rather, I'm just going to go ahead and fix it. I thought it was because that the x-axis of the um, uh, of the UV map was moved over, but actually what the problem was is that the y-axis of the UV map, UV map was being crushed against the bottom of the screen, against the, the bottom of the texture. And the fix for that is to just... where are you? There it is. And the fix for that is to add that. Oh, that. Um, yeah, that's another ten minutes of me screwing around because I forgot an equal sign. Brilliant! Alright, the other thing we want to do is we want to make it so that when the player picks up a block, they can put down a block. The same block. No problem. That goes here. Oh, uh, let's go ahead and add ourselves. Public byte um, selected inventory. So if we haven't got any selected inventory, then we make our selected inventory... Oh, that's right. This goes inside. We make our selected inventory equal to the chunk.getByte uh, p. And then we set it to zero. So we pick it up. Otherwise, we put down our block. So p plus equals, and that'll give us the empty space next to whatever we clicked on. Selected inventory equals zero, and obviously selected inventory gets put in here, and dir has to go first. So I don't know how the last episode ended up so long, but I'm going to keep this episode short. Not to the point where I'm going to stop now, even though I've accomplished everything I set out to do. Um, well, sure, I guess I can stop now. I don't really have anything else planned. Maybe next time I'll put in a proper inventory or something. We'll, we'll figure that out later. Besides, it's getting noisy.